Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my favorite tinted moisturizers slash CC creams for the summertime. But before we get started, I do really want to introduce myself for those of you guys who are new to my channel. Hi, welcome, my name is Jessica, aka The Mexican Beauty. I make videos on all things beauty, lifestyle, and fashion, so I would love for you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below while you're adding the notification bell because I'll make sure you never miss one of my videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on my other platforms, Instagram, The Mexican Beauty. I'm always there posting stories, fun content. You don't wanna miss me there. And I'm also on TikTok the Mexican beauty as well. This is your chance to follow both of my accounts over there. So let's just go ahead and get started. So the first one is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This CC Cream is absolutely incredible. It builds up to a foundation finish, honestly. It looks so beautiful. I literally use this all the time. This is in the shade Medium 330W. Um, this is a color correcting, full coverage, natural finish. I definitely do agree with that claim. I feel like this is one of those products that you get the most beautiful full coverage. It feels lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy whatsoever. And it also does a really good job of covering what it needs to cover, whether it's redness, whether it's like any type of scars or anything, this will cover that, but still feels so lightweight and breathable. Um, this is from e.l.f. You guys know e.l.f. always does it. The e.l.f. Camo CC Cream is literally one of my favorites. Um, this, I wanna say, is about like 12 or $14. You can find this pretty much at any drugstore. I have a pretty good shade range of this product as well, which I think is great. And this one does also contain sunscreen 30, which is another thing that you might want to consider if you are somebody that's looking for sunscreen in your product. I am somebody who does believe that you should always have a sunscreen and apply it before you just rely on a foundation or a tinted product that has sunscreen. I also encourage you guys to continuously retouch through the day with makeup setting sprays that do have SPF. I love the fact that it comes in this packaging because I just feel like it's so easy for you to take this on the go. Like it's literally such an amazing product, especially if you're somebody who's on a budget. And like I said, this can be built up to full coverage. You can even wear this like to an event or something. Like it literally looks beautiful for all occasions. You can make it a little bit more sheer. You can make more full coverage. It literally works. So now we're gonna move on to the next one, which is going to be a high. And I think I'm just gonna go from like high end to drugstore. But this one is the Ease Drop by Fenty Beauty. This is another product that it is so lovely. I do wear this in the shade 11. This one gives you the most beautiful finish. It's definitely a more natural finish than this e.l.f. CC cream. This one can get like a nice full coverage consistency. I feel like this one is very breathable. It's very customizable to your liking. So if you want something more sheer, definitely go in with your hands um, or a sponge that's a little damp to kind of absorb any of the extra product. If you want something more full coverage, then I would definitely go in with a brush. But I'm not gonna lie, there's been moments where I've worn the skin tint with like a full blown eye makeup look and then it, it looked like I was wearing almost like a natural skin like foundation so I think this is one of those products that is so customizable highly recommend the Fenty skin tint it is so good they did such a beautiful job with this product um, and I think it's one of those products that really does feel very lightweight and breathable on the skin I know this product has been sold out I think during the Sephora sale it just literally got wiped off the page because so many people were raving about this but this is one that definitely should be raved about because it is that good. The next one I wanna talk about is from The Lip Bar. This is a beauty brand at Target, black owned, and I did mention this product in one of my previous trying new makeup products, um, and I really loved how this looked on my skin, but this is literally so good. Um, this does contain SPF 11 and hyaluronic acid. It gives your skin such a beautiful finish. It's almost like an in-between coverage between the Fenty Beauty one and between the LCs. You can like, it's like that perfect consistency. It's a nice creamy consistency that just goes on your skin so beautifully. This applies great with a sponge or with a brush, whatever you're looking for. And I just think it's one of those products that I love the way it makes my skin look and feel. It also is pretty good with the masks. I know that masks are like slowly starting to like fade out. Um, but I know some people still do want to wear their masks and will be wearing their masks. So I think that if you're trying to, you know, find good products that don't transfer as easily as others, this is one that does a really good job. Um, if you go on their Instagram page, they have shown clips of them like 
saying how like it wasn't meant to be mask proof but it actually works really well with masks and it doesn't transfer as easily as other products on the market so this is one of those that i just really love it does a great job of hydrating my skin um it's one of those products that lays on the skin so nicely doesn't look cakey or heavy on the skin whatsoever um so i highly recommend you guys checking out the lip bar so i wear the lip bars tinted skin conditioner in beige bombshell you guys can find them at target and also at your local walmarts um, they have such beautiful products and their lippies you need to check out their glosses are amazing okay so the next part that i want to talk about is this one this is the nars pure radiant tinted moisturizer this is so so beautiful literally i was so blown away when i tried this i was not expecting for me to love this as much as i did but i do have to say this product i don't mind applying it with my fingers i don't know what it is just the way that it goes on and actually still gives you a tinted look covers my rosacea and looks stunning i love um so i like to just apply it with my fingers and then i go in with the brush and further blend it because i feel like with your fingers you can apply it but it won't blend as nice unless you really go in and i feel like by the time i really just apply it all in it kind of fades a little bit but this just applies so beautifully with fingers with a brush with a sponge and it looks so skin like this is definitely for the natural makeup person um it's a very beautiful lightweight consistency tinted moisturizer that still offers enough coverage to cover what it needs to cover like redness for me it's always my redness because of the rosacea but this is one that i really do love this one does also contain sunscreen i wear this in the shade saint mortise medium one um and i literally just apply it with my fingers and then further blend out with a brush and it gives me the most natural finish ever I tend to wear this on very natural makeup days. Like when I literally am going for a natural look, this is what I would wear. I wouldn't wear this with like something like this. I would literally just wear this with mascara or right now I do have lash extensions. So just lash extensions, a little bit of brow gel, not really filling out my brows. This, some lip gloss, I'm good to go. That's the type of vibe that I go with it. Um, and then the fact that it just gives me such a lightweight natural finish, unlike chef's kiss, honey. Okay, and the next product I wanna talk about is another affordable find. This is the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator. I love this tinted hydrator at the drugstore. It's such a beautiful consistency, and I actually did a dupe video with the Fenty Skin Tint. I do think they do have some similarities, and I think that this is such an affordable price, which is definitely worth checking out if you're trying to find something comparable at the drugstore to the Fenty. I keep wanting to say Fenty Skin because I've been talking so much about my Fenty Skin products, but I mean Fenty Beauty. So I do think these are comparable. Obviously, the one thing I will say with the Wet n Wild one is Wet n Wild, we need more shades. This is a really good product, but we need more shades. I would love to see more shades of this because I think the formula is really great for a tinted moisturizer. I think it provides great coverage. It can be built up to almost like a natural finish foundation. Like it just looks so beautiful on the skin, super lightweight. And it just, it gives the face like this beautiful, radiance from within vibe like a fresh face your skin but better vibes this is definitely one of those products so this is tan medium deep the, the shade that suits me best um this one has hyaluronic acid squalene um oil free sheer to medium coverage i definitely do think that you can have it be more sheer if you're more of that natural makeup person or you can have it built up to a more fuller coverage looking product and it'll look stunning on the skin like i said definitely your skin but better vibes with this product and going off of your skin but better considering the fact that there's a foundation named that um, we're going to dive right into a cosmetics you guys know i will always talk about the a cosmetics tinted moisturizer the bye bye foundation i feel like sometimes people think this is a foundation but it's not it's a tinted moisturizer a full one which is like bye bye foundation like we don't need you anymore um this one is one of my absolute favorite products i do wear this in the shade tan i may be a little bit lighter right now than this but this is one of my favorites it contains 50 spf in here and this one is the oil free matte one because i do have that combination skin so i do like to have a more perfected matte like finish especially in the summertime because i am somebody that sweats easily so i need something that's just gonna you know keep me intact so this is one that i will always talk about will always rave about it gives you such a full coverage result 
but still keeping that tinted moisturizer vibes. I like to apply this best with a sponge just because it is a full coverage tinted moisturizer. I feel like sometimes I can tend to go in with a little bit more than I would want to. So I feel like when I do go in with a sponge that's stamp, it absorbs any of that extra product, which is definitely a necessity for me. Now, a lot of people, including myself, were comparing the CC creams to the CC creams from A Cosmetics. And yes, they are very comparable. Um, if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, definitely recommend going for the e.l.f. one. But if you're willing to spend on an A Cosmetics product, want to splurge, or perhaps you've had your eye on this for a while, definitely recommend this. I think this is the perfect product for the summertime. It has you know, all the things that you need for the summer. I think it's a perfect product year round. Um, I know some people use this as tinted moisturizer and foundation because it does give you that beautiful full coverage. Um, and I also like the fact that with this product, it's one of those products that's so like makeup friendly for everybody, whether you're somebody that likes very natural makeup or whether you're somebody that likes very full coverage, like all different types of people can use this and really enjoy the product that they get. Um, if I had to categorize them in like categories as like, coverage wise i would say these two are the most full coverage out of the two out of the six of them that i have the elf and the a cosmetics one um and then i would say medium coverage i would go for these medium to like buildable full coverage these right here the wet and wild the fenty beauty and the lip bar one great for that more medium coverage if you're looking for a tinted moisturizer built up to fuller coverage if you want something more natural and lightweight this is definitely going to be your best friend, the one by NARS. And now I see why so many people have loved this for years when it first launched, because it really is a beautiful formula. I feel like it gives you like such a natural skin-like finish that just looks absolutely stunning on the skin. So those I would say are how it goes for me. Um, I think these were the ones that stood out to me the most, the ones that I repeatedly gravitate towards on a everyday basis, whether it's, you know, I'm gonna be running some errands and I need something quick that'll just, you know, cover the redness or whether it's something where, you know what, I don't feel like wearing a full coverage foundation. I wanna wear a full coverage tinted moisturizer because I'm doing like a full glam. Um, so I love tinted moisturizers. I feel like they have are such great products, they're so fun. I hope that they come out with a few more this year. I feel like this year they did come out with a bunch um, but these were the ones so far that I have used this year and previously that I will forever recommend to people because they're so good. So I hope that this video was really helpful in case you guys were looking for some good tinted moisturizers and wanted my personal opinion on these select ones that I have here. I recommend all of them. I know you're going to ask me like which one out of all of them is your absolute favorite tinted moisturizer. They all are and they all serve different needs. So just go through the video and see, you know, when I mentioned what needs I would use certain ones for and that's when I would use it. Um, but I'm repeatedly using all these. I think they're all absolutely phenomenal. It just really depends on you and your personal preference on whether you want something lightweight and very natural or whether you want something more full coverage in a product. And I think that's all I have for you guys. So don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed and stay beautiful. And I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye guys.